Hello, 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 and welcome to March Magnificence. For the entire month of March, we're talking about the attributes of God, and the next attribute is God is patient. Woo! That requires waiting. I always say patience is not my virtue, but I must say, I am, God is teaching me how to be patient, okay? I might be kicking and screaming, but hey, I can't use that anymore. But anyway, nevertheless, 2 Peter 3, 8, and 9. But beloved, do not forget this one thing, that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as a day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. What a powerful, powerful scripture. You know, sometimes, you know, a day to us is 24 hours. <sighs> but a day to him is like a thousand years. And it's 365. I should have added that up before I got on here. But that's a whole lot of days. Um... His, his timing is not like our timing. You know, we want stuff done right now. And sometimes God does. Bam. He may not come when you want him, but he always right on time. Sometimes we want him to be like microwave. You go to the microwave, you put in a couple of minutes, you got your whole meal prepared in under five minutes. You know, but God is not slack concerning his promises to us. The Bible contains thousands of promises that God has made to each and every one of us, you know, and, but he's long suffering. He's patient, you know, cause he wants all of us, all of us to, to come to repentance, you know, he doesn't want any of us to perish. He's given all of us the opportunity. Like I said before, we can't do anything about tomorrow because tomorrow is not promised to us, to any of us. And in reality, tomorrow never comes. But we can start today with this day and do the best that we can. Like I said in a video or two back, you know, you want to start reading the Bible, read Proverbs, read Ecclesiastics. Um, you can go into the New Testament and read Romans about Christian living, you know. Um, or you can just do like a lot of people do and start at Genesis and just whoop, go through the entire book through to Revelations. And then go back and do it again. Because once you get there, you're going to be like, oh my God, really? Wow, I didn't know that was in there. But God is patient. He is patient and he is long suffering because he's not willing for anybody to perish, but that all should come to repentance. 1 Timothy 1 and 16 says, However, for this reason I obtained mercy, that in me, first Jesus Christ might show all longsuffering as a pattern to those who are going to believe on him for everlasting life. It says who are going to. Those ones who are little scuffling along, but they're going to, they're going to believe in him. God is longsuffering. He's patient. He's waiting for you. Um, but you got to remember that no man knows the day and no man knows the hour. Okay? Um, 2 Peter 3 and 15 says, And consider that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given to him, has written to you. God is long suffering, He is patient. Most patient, patient, this person, if we can call him a spirit, he said God is a spirit, but he is the most patient one that I know, because he puts up with us on a daily basis. Um, there's a scripture, oh my goodness, Jeremiah, I think it is, can any man hide from God, you know, um, can a man hide from God? And God not find him. You can't hide from him. 
You know, he scripture says he's looking down from heaven. I think the other one was Jeremiah 26, 26. But I could be wrong. Um, there's another scripture that says he's looking throughout the earth to see if there's anybody that understands. He sees us, and yet he's patient with us. So wherever we go, God is watching. He's there. He's get there. Psalms 139. David said, if I make my bed in hell. He's there. No matter what I do or no matter where I go, God is there. So, make the commitment to be a silent Christian no more. And start letting your voice be heard about who God is and who he is to you. And then let your actions be seen. Okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all on tomorrow. You have a pleasant evening. Bye-bye.